How is it going, Data Bites? Is no data here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Roblox Assassin. Today we are back onto Assassin because there was an update to Assassin. That is right, guys. An update literally just dropped out of the blue, and it's a pretty big one. So there's quite a few new things to do in Assassin right now. So, real quick, let's go ahead and go over what is new in this update. So, firstly, and most importantly, Dreamwalker is now in the ball. That is right, Dreamwalker's in the ball. Pretty much every season, the ball changes changes so i don't know i just oh my god it's flying around I don't know. I just felt like I needed to point it out. Dreamwalker's in the ball, so that's cool. Now, if we take a look at the shop, you will actually see that there is a brand new radio, which is actually pretty interesting. We have a limited time radio here called the Galactic Radio. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy that real quick. I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Let me go to my radios. And there it is, the Galactic Radio. I've said this many times. I don't really use radios in Assassin, like, ever. I just don't listen to music through Roblox anymore. Uh, but the radio is pretty cool. So here's what the radio looks like it, it's pretty nice not too much else to say about it but you can go ahead and buy this thing for 5,000 tokens it's really not too expensive to get but yeah if we take a look at the shop first of all you will see that there is a brand new bundle that is right the space bundle so we got some new exotics right here we will definitely be buying this bundle in a future episode of assassin but most importantly guys as you can see season 8 of assassin is here that is right guys we are officially in season 8 and this season is all about space the final frontier this season is all about outer space and with the brand new season comes a brand new battle pass so as you can see we have a bunch of new stuff in the battle pass for us to get and that is just super duper hype so in this video we are going to check out this entire battle pass we're gonna get every single thing in the tier we even have a new exotic and a new mythic to check out so that's gonna be really exciting we're gonna be getting a bunch of new stuff so yeah if you guys are excited for this episode of assassin then be sure to drop a like on this video it helps out a whole lot and if you are new be sure to subscribe for more assassin videos in the future we are very close to 250,000 subscribers and once we hit that milestone we are going to give away one of the best knives in the game champion axe 2 so be sure to subscribe so that we can actually do that giveaway also guys we have some limited time exposing scammers merge the link is in the description it's only available until september 30th so be sure to check it out and also guys don't forget to use star code purple when buying your bow bucks and your roblox premium because it really helps me out to continue making these videos so if you're getting some bow bucks, don't forget to use star code purple. All right, but let's go ahead and check out this battle pass. So as always, we are just going to go through all of the tiers and we are going to check out everything. So like always, tier one is just your good old fashioned standard case. It's basically tradition at this point for tier one to be a standard case. I've said this many times, this is literally just the cheapest case in the game. It's a 70% chance common, a 28% chance rare, and a 2% chance legendary so it's a really cheap case you're probably not gonna get much out of it but you know it is relatively cheap this is the worst case in the game you're pretty likely to just get a common out of it but it kind of makes sense to get the worst case out of the lowest tier because you know 200 experience is really not a lot so let's go ahead and claim it tier one and let's go ahead and open up that standard case all right let's go ahead and open up the case and let's see where we get hopefully we can get a purple that would be awesome. I'm getting a tiger again. I feel like I always get a rare out of these standard cases, dude. And for tier two, we get yet another key. As you guys know, you can go ahead and use these keys to open up some of the cases. So not much to say about that. Uh, this is normally the part where I would spend the key to open up a case, but I do kind of want to save up for the heroic case uh, because I still don't have the vortex. So honestly, I'm just going to save up my keys and get that vortex mythic because I don't really have it yet. But yeah, you can go ahead and get a key key from tier two and you can use that to open some of the cases so that is pretty exciting all right and for tier three we actually start getting some new knives so for tier three we have a new rare knife called planetary so that is pretty interesting let's go ahead and check out that new knife let me scroll down through the rares and let me find that knife there it is the planetary rare knife uh, so here it is right here. I'm not really going to equip it in battle, but I'll just show it on my side. You can see that it is a space knife. You can see that there are some stars on it. And you can also see that there are a bunch of different planets. We have like a red planet here and then a blue one. I guess this is supposed to be Saturn because it has a ring around it. I don't think the other planets really based off of anything. I guess this could be Mars. And then the blue planet can be Neptune and that is, that is Pluto. 
I don't think that's correct, but I'm gonna go with it. Or maybe it's the sun, because it's really far away. I don't know. I'm overthinking a knife. It's just a knife with some planets on it, and it looks really, really cool. I like the stars on it, so honestly, this knife just looks really, really good. And for tier 4, we get a brand new rare pet called the Globe. So let's go ahead and equip that new rare pet. Where is it? Uh, there it is, and as you can see, it's literally just a globe that follows you around. It, it's literally just planet Earth. You can see all the continents right here. There's North America and South America and Antarctica at the bottom. There's the North Pole. There's Africa. If we go here, we can see Australia. So yeah, it's literally just the planet Earth following you around. So it's pretty cool to be honest. Again, given that this season is space themed, it kind of makes sense to get an Earth pet. And for tier 5, we actually get the Sturdy Case. So for quite a few seasons, we have had the Sturdy Case in the middle of the Battle Pass. So I don't really think I have to explain it that much. So yeah, the Sturdy Case, it's quite a bit better than the Standard Case. It's a 50% chance rare. 40% chance legendary and a 10% chance to get an exotic so yeah hopefully we can at least get a legendary if we get a rare out of this then that would kind of stink because you know I got a rare out of the standard case so it would kind of be unfortunate if we got a rare out of the sturdy case but let's go ahead and open up the sturdy case and let's go ahead and see what we get uh, again, we could get an exotic out of this. It's a 10% chance. It is very much possible to get an exotic, but we are going to get a rare. That is so unfortunate. And there's the exotic right there. I hate getting a rare from the sturdy case, dude. It's just so anticlimactic. Like, a legendary from the elite case? Okay, I can get that. But a rare from the sturdy case? That is, that is just a certified bro moment, you know what I mean? But anyway, for tier 6, we get a brand new legendary knife called the laser. So that is a really cool knife. Let's go ahead and check that out. Let me scroll up to the legendaries. And there is the laser legendary knife. You can see it's literally just a red knife with some white lightning on it. It also has a white outline, which I think looks really nice. I like the handle of it. You know, we got some black and some white stripes. So yeah, I like the lightning on it. It looks pretty cool. Really interesting colors for a legendary knife. You don't really see knives that are this red. But for tier 7, we get a new legendary pet called the Astralito. How do, how do you say this? It doesn't even say how to pronounce it on the internet. It, it, people just say that this is a Pokemon. But here is the legendary pet right here. It looks pretty cool. You can see that it is mostly blue and purple just to kind of show the colors of space. There is some leaves on the side of its head which looks pretty cool. I like the white eyes on it as well. It's got a very interesting tail. You can see that its tail is uh, detached from its body which is a little weird but okay. But yeah, this is a pretty cool pet overall. It's a really interesting space themed pet. And for tier 8, we get a brand new exotic knife called the Cosmo Katana. This thing looks absolutely sick. This is a brand new exotic. So let's go ahead and claim this thing. And let me scroll down and equip this new exotic. We're going to go ahead and try this thing out in battle. There it is, the Cosmo Katana. So let's go ahead and try it out. I'm going to go ahead and turn off AFK. And let's go ahead and try this thing out. Alright, so here it is guys. The Cosmo Katana Exotic that you can get from the Season 8 Battle Pass. As you can see, it is a completely purple katana. And it looks really, really cool to be honest. Obviously, it's mostly purple to represent space. You can see that near the hilt of the katana, there are some purple leaves. And there's also a purple handle right here, which looks really nice. You can also see that there are some blue symbols near the hilt of the katana, which honestly looks really, really cool. I like the light blue in contrast with the purple. And finally, you can also see some diamonds floating around the knife. Now, it's not actually an effect. The diamonds are just literally part of the knife. They don't move at all. They're kind of just there. So this really reminds me of the Cryo Shard Mythic Knife, which was in Christmas 2019. Because with this knife, there are also just some parts of ice just floating around the knife, kind of just staying there, but it's not in effect. It's literally just part of the knife. And the Cosmic Katana seems to have that same similar effect where there are diamonds floating around the knife, but it's literally not in effect. There is no effect on this knife at all. But yeah, I don't believe this thing has a kill effect either. Let me go ahead and find out. No, it doesn't. Kind of disappointing. You know, I was kind of hoping for a lot more knives with kill effects once, you know, the Faberge one and the Stone Ancient got their own. I was kind of hoping for more knives to get their own kill effects, but I don't know. That concept was like never revisited after those two knives. But I don't know, maybe Oblivion has one. 
Fingers crossed. I don't know. I haven't seen anyone with Oblivion yet, but maybe there could be one. I'm not certain. Fingers crossed for that one because I don't know. It's been so long since we've had knives with their own death effect. But yeah, overall, this is a really cool exotic. I like the purple on it. I think it honestly looks really cool that we have a purple katana in the game now. And I really like the designs of it as well. This is probably one of my most favorite battle pass exotics because sometimes I feel like the battle pass exotics can be kind of weird. Like, honestly, what the heck is Shark Hook, you know? But the Cosmic Katana, this is really cool. It has a theme, and it just makes sense to be in the Battle Pass. And this can end up being a pretty valuable knife in the future, because once Season 8 ends, this exotic is going to be completely unobtainable, and then it's going to start going up in value in the future. So honestly, this can end up being a pretty valuable exotic knife eventually. All right, and for Tier 9, we get a brand new effect called the Meteor Shower. So this is a brand new knife effect which honestly looks really cool just from the picture this looks really really cool so let's go ahead and claim that and i'm going to go ahead and try it out on the basic knife first so let me equip basic knife and let's go ahead and check out the new effect the meteor shower as you can see around the knife we have some space clouds you know some blue and purple clouds right here you can also see that there are some stars around the knife and you can also see that there are some meteors falling off of the knife they're kind of appearing and disappearing it's supposed to look like a meteor shower in the sky where like some of the meteors appear and disappear so right away this thing looks really really cool i like the stars on it i like the meteors on it it's really cool so far, this basically just feels like an upgrade of the Astral effect right here, which was in a previous battle pass. This effect is kind of just an upgrade of it. But let's go ahead and try this thing out in battle, and let's see what happens when you actually kill someone with this knife effect. All right, and as you can see, when you kill someone, they actually have a bunch of different colored clouds. They're actually a lot brighter and more pink than the actual knife effect itself, which is honestly kind of surprising. So yeah, you can see that there are some clouds and stars around the body, and you can also see that there are some meteors falling off of the body. Now, the meteors actually fall up. Well, I guess it depends on, like, their corpse itself. But you can see on this corpse, the meteors are actually falling up which looks kind of weird, but when you think about it, I guess it does make sense. I mean, you do want to see the meteors falling off of the body, and if they fall down, then you wouldn't really see the meteors. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but also in that corpse right there, you can see that the meteors are kind of falling off of an angle, which also looks pretty interesting. So I don't know, the, the way that the meteors work are kind of weird, but I think generally the meteors are going to fall up from the body, which again, that's kind of weird when you think about it, but also it kind of makes sense from a design standpoint because if they fell down, then you wouldn't really see the effect because, you know, the body would be covering the meteors. So yeah, it kind of makes sense. Overall, this is a really, really cool effect. I would say overall it's an upgrade from the astral effect. Uh, the astral effect has a bit of darker clouds, so, you know, it can be used for certain knives, but I'd say that the meteor shower is overall an upgrade. I actually want to see how it looks with the Cosmo Katana. Let me take a look at it right here. Yeah, that knife with this effect looks really, really cool. Now, because it's a deeper purple, I can imagine this looking better with the astral. Yeah, honestly, this looks better with the astral effect just because the Cosmo Katana itself is like a deeper purple. So I feel like it's a bit more fitting with the deeper purple clouds. But even so, the meteor shower effect still a really fitting effect for this exotic. And ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we have the final tier, tier 10. You actually get a brand new mythic knife called the Oblivion. This is an insanely cool mythic. And this is the final prize that you get from the Season 8 Battle Pass. We have the Oblivion Mythic right here. So this is insanely cool. Let's go ahead and try out this brand new Mythic Knife. This is the final prize for the Battle Pass. Let's go ahead and claim this Mythic. Three, two, one, boom. There we go, guys. We just got the Oblivion Mythic Knife. This is going to look absolutely insane. So let's go ahead and equip this new Mythic. I gotta go ahead and scroll up. Where is it? There it is, the Oblivion Mythic. So let's go ahead and try this thing out in battle. All right, so here it is, guys, the Oblivion Mythic Knife. This is a brand new Mythic Knife that you can get in the Season 8 Battle Pass. This is actually the final prize that you can get for it. And honestly, this knife looks absolutely sick. As you can see, it is an awesome, like, yellowish, orange scythe. In terms of design, I believe that the Oblivion is really similar to the Hollow Scythe in Murder Mystery 2. 
just, you know, in terms of colors and shape, I feel like they're very similar knives. But I really like the texture of it. I like how pointy it is. Like, this is a really sharp scythe. I just really like the design of it right here. You can't really see the handle all that much, but it does have a really nice handle at the bottom. You can see that it's basically a black and orange scythe, and it honestly just looks really, really cool. But obviously, the coolest part about this scythe is the effects on it. So obviously, you can see some orange clouds. You can also see some orange dots appearing and disappearing around the knife. But the coolest effect in this knife that makes it really unique to all the other knives is the void. You can see that there's literally just a void inside of the knife right there. And it looks really, really cool. I don't know if this is supposed to be a sun or a black hole or what. But you can see that it really has a yellow outline and then it's literally just a black void. I guess this is supposed to be a black hole inside of the knife. I don't really know. But yeah, this thing looks incredibly cool. Honestly, the coolest part about it is right when you equip the knife, it takes a while to form. Look at it. Like, look at how that slowly shows up on your knife. I think that looks really cool it doesn't show up immediately like the void slowly forms on your knife and i think that's one of the coolest things ever now obviously it is a little bit glitchy when you throw the knife you can see that the void kind of just stays so obviously the effect is a little bit glitchy but overall this is still a really really cool knife and honestly this thing just gives me like void champion vibes i mean obviously this looks really similar to the hollow scythe but this thing just straight up gives me like void champion vibes it looks really cool this is easy my favorite battle pass mythic in the entire game it honestly just looks incredible easily my favorite battle pass mythic and probably one of my most favorite mythics ever it just looks insanely cool i really like the void in the middle of it this thing just honestly looks absolutely sick Actually, you know, this knife reminds me of Hearth in terms of, like, colors, you know what I mean? I feel like Hearth has that same orange glow to it, so I feel like this also kind of reminds me of Hearth. Alright guys, fingers crossed, I don't have any effects equipped right now. Does this knife have a kill effect? I'm gonna say probably not, but I can hope, alright? A man can dream. I gotta go ahead and kill someone and see if it actually has, like, a death effect. Alright, you're wrong player, unfortunately. Alright, let me go ahead and kill this dude right here if I can. God dang! it dude it doesn't have a death effect that is unfortunate honestly it's just been so long since a knife has had like a death effect and i really hope that concept comes back because it's literally just in two mythics right now the stone ancient and the fabers one and i don't know this concept was never revisited and i don't know why i feel like there's plenty of knives in the game that can have their own kill effects and i don't know it just didn't happen anymore and i feel like oblivion is just you know an obvious choice but yeah in case you guys are wondering what this mythic is going to be worth i'd imagine this is going to be a really good mythic at first because you know it's a brand new mythic not a lot of people have it and a lot of people definitely want this thing however i can imagine this knife going down in value over time as more and more people get it because really all you have to do is just grind through the game and you will absolutely get this knife no luck involved you just gotta grind through the battle pass and you will get this knife so as a result i can imagine this knife going down in value over time as more and more people get it however guys do keep in mind that once season 8 ends the battle pass is going to be completely unobtainable as well as this mythic knife and then it's going to start going up in value in the future so this mythic could end up being pretty valuable at some point but yeah guys that is going to be it for this episode of assassin again brand new season 8 battle pass be sure to check this thing out it is an incredibly cool battle pass i really like the exotic knife and the mythic knife on it it's just really awesome to be honest in the next episode of assassin we are going to go ahead and check out the brand new space bundle because there are some new exotics in here for us to see thank you guys so much for watching this episode of roblox assassin don't forget to like comment subscribe and all those other things that youtube people do and i will see you guys in the next video stay purple